Well, Brian, where are we? We are in Germany. Uh, we're in Austria. We started in Germany, in Munich, and we've driven here into the beautiful Lake District in what? In the brand new Mercedes-Benz CLA Coupe or Coupe. When did it become a coupe? Well, you know, it's got four doors, so <laughs> it's a coupe, right? <laughs> it's the new trend in the auto industry. And to differentiate this car from the new entry-level A-Class sedan, they've decided to call it a coupe with some nice upgrades on the outside, right? Yeah, well, we're going to take it for a test drive in the mountains right there. All right. Brian, welcome to the inside of the CLA. Now, you had a chance to drive the A-Class. Does this look similar on the inside? Very, very much so. It's similar to the A-Class, similar to the new GLE, which we both drove. Mm -hmm. uh, you have... The big vents. Big, huge vents. <laughs> kind of like, a, it has like an aviation theme to it. And then you get the screens. Tell me about the screens. Well, these are called MBUX, Mercedes-Benz User Experience. And what you get are two screens that combine together in one panel that have a real pop, a real wow factor. When you get in this car, it looks like you spent the money, right? And in Canada, it comes standard with a seven inch screen behind the steering wheel and then a seven inch screen for the infotainment system. But you can upgrade to the one we have here and it increases the size to just over 10 inches for both the cluster and the infotainment system. And I think you gotta spend the extra and get that. It looks worth it. So let's get to the drive though. We've driven everywhere from uh, downtown Munich, through the mountains, real tight side roads, uh, highways. Uh, I really enjoy driving it. 221 horsepower from a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. It's a, what they call a twin scroll, single turbo, but twin scroll. And it has 221 horsepower, as I mentioned, but 258 pound-feet of torque, and maximum torque comes up at just 1,800 RPM, so it's got lots of pull. When you put your foot into it, it's rewarding. It doesn't feel like a base model car in any way. And that's matched to a seven-speed automatic with standard formatic for Canada. Yeah, of course. You know what? Nobody's buying, uh, you know, just front-wheel or rear-wheel drive premium cars, so Mercedes-Benz knows that. Now, what we have today in this car has adaptive dampers. Now in Canada, we're gonna get a standard single shock and spring, but it's lowered by 10 millimeters to match that AMG appearance package on the outside. So Brian, we're on the Autobahn now, and I can't emphasize enough the change from the first CLA to this new CLA. The first one was to get people into the brand and to show them they can do small cars that they've done in Europe for a while. But this one now joins the rest of the family. It's a proper Mercedes-Benz through and through. So I, I think it's not much of a stretch to expect after this one with all of these updates, it's gonna be a big hit. Absolutely. So Brian, when is the CLA coming to Canada? Fall this year. Now we don't have the official price on it yet. It's gonna be priced closer to its release date, but if you look at the current car, it's just over $40,000. We're hoping it's gonna stay fairly close to that. Big change from the first generation? Huge, huge, huge. This is really uh, a real Mercedes now. The other one was a Mercedes, but this really feels like a real Mercedes. The first one was a bit of a budget entry into the family. This one now feels like the rest. Smooth, quiet, refined, great interior, lots of power. We just have to wait a little longer to get it.